Hi, my name is Kevin Frank. I'm an Extension Turf Rat Specialist at Michigan State University. This video is designed to give you many different tips on how to take care of your lawn. We're going to talk about many different management schemes. Where we'd like to start off with is looking at turf grass selection for your lawn. And for that, we're going to not only show you some different turf grasses you can choose, we're going to show you the different environments that they thrive in. This here, this is, is an example of a Kentucky bluegrass lawn. It's not a mix, it's just straight Kentucky bluegrass. You can see behind me, there's plenty of sunshine. There's a little bit of shade, but it's very intermittent. And it also has an in-ground irrigation system. It's a fairly high level of maintenance, but it's going to give you an excellent quality lawn. You might notice we've had a lot of rain in this area. And we do have a little bit of tracking on the lawn just from some mud from mowing. But this is an excellent quality lawn. It would be a great choice if you have a sunny lawn, an in-ground irrigation system, and want to spend a little time taking care of your lawn. Here's another choice for a lawn that you might consider. Commonly referred to as fine fescue, this lawn is a good choice if you're looking at something that probably is a little bit less maintenance, does very well on shady sites, and is often in a mix with both Kentucky bluegrass and perennial ryegrass. This lawn happens to be just 100% fine fescue. This would be a great choice for an area where you're looking at reduced maintenance. Maybe your cabin up north where you have some shade, you're not going to manage it very intensively, but just get some good ground cover. Now notice that this has a very narrow leaf blade. It almost gives the turf a wispy type appearance. Certainly much different than the lawns we'll see, which are Kentucky bluegrass or even tall fescue. This is a good choice if you're looking for something that needs some shade tolerance and also some reduced maintenance. Here's another choice for a lawn in Michigan. This is a very common one. This is a common mixture of Kentucky bluegrass, perennial ryegrass, and fine fescue, often just called the common three-way mix. You can see why this is successful is because we have areas that are sunny, and then we have areas that have some shade. So the Kentucky bluegrass and perennial ryegrass will do very well in the sunny areas, and hopefully the fine fescue will kind of take over those more shade-prone areas and succeed there. So depending on your environment, if you have a little mix of sun and shade, this three-way mixture would be a good choice for you. Another choice for your lawn would be tall fescue. We're out in the country here on an acreage, and they've chosen tall fescue because they're looking for a grass that doesn't require as much irrigation, or any irrigation really, and has probably a reduced fertility requirement compared to some of the other turf grasses we've been looking at today. One thing you're going to notice with tall fescue is it does have a wider leaf blade, especially if you remember back to when we were looking at that fine fescue lawn, it looked very wispy. Well, tall fescue is a little bit wider, so that is a slightly different appearance. But if you're looking for something that you're not going to water, hopefully it will maintain its green color a little bit better throughout those dry periods in the summer. And another positive in this area, the European chafer grubs don't like to eat it quite as much as they do some of the other turf grass species. So, Consider tall fescue, it might be a good choice for you. Finally, I'd say look at our, our table on turf grass adaptation for Michigan to see more information about selecting a turf grass for your lawn.